In this video, we're going to take a look at how to license our Cisco Identity Services Engine with Smart Licensing. So as you can see here, I am using ICE and I'm currently in the evaluation license phase with 44 days remaining. Now, when you start to or move across to ICE 3.x, which should be where everybody should be now given that the 2.x versions are now end of life smart license in does become mandatory so we can check our our version of uh, ice here if we just have a look at ice we can see that i'm currently running ice 3.3 version 3.3 there so to smart license or to tie our ice instance to our smart license in we need to navigate to administration and then system licensing and as you can see here in my demo environment i currently have um, an evaluation phase running with no smart license registration details connected at the moment so we're going to change that and it's very simple so we need to select smart license registration that should be selected by default as you can see here at the moment we don't have any licenses in use we've just got evaluation phase running and then what we're going to do is we'll, we need our registration token now this comes from our smart licensing portal so software.cisco.com and then you can go into your smart licensing manager and then you would either use a registration token that's currently available or you would generate a new one i already have one copied so i'm going to just paste that into there and then our connection method is going to be in this case in my lab environment will be via https 443 there is other options as you can see if you're going via a proxy or if you've got an on-premise uh, smart uh, licensing server, you can use that. And then lastly, before we register, you just basically want to select your tier. So we've got either the Essentials, the Advantage, Premier, which in this case I'll leave selected because that's the one that I have in my smart licensing portal. And then device administration would be for TACAX. I'm just going to turn that off for now. You also need to make sure when you're using a virtual appliance that you license or you have a license for uh, the VM itself. So this is going to be our ICE VM license here. So once we're... So once you are satisfied with the tier that you've selected and your virtual appliance license we now need to press register so if i just say register here it's, it's just basically warning us that we're going to register now for smart licensing so you want to make sure that you or your ice instance can reach the internet because it's going to reach out to cisco to register so we're just going to say yes and then we just need to wait here you can see at the top here that it's registering so we'll just give it a few minutes to complete that process and there you go now you can see from the refresh we can see that we've got our virtual license there enabled and then what we can then go and do is we can enable our other licenses if we have access to if we have access to those ones as well you can see there that the vm license there has been applied so once you've registered now we can see we know that the ice vm license is applied in compliance and what we need to do now is we need to select the tiers that we want to enable now it's the licensing is a nested doll model, so you can check the ICE documentation for more information on that. But I'm using Premier, so that basically means I can enable these tiers here. And we can see, now we can check the enable box there. And the consumption will stay at zero until we actually start to use features within those tiers basically so what i'll do is i'll just enable that and we'll see that refresh 
And there you have it. So now you can see that the status for those tiers is now enabled.